everyone, Jane's Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys. So it is the end of our spooky Halloween series. Ooh, I lost my voice there for a second. <laughs> so it is the Halloween season. And this is our last update. Yes, we've done Spirit Halloween. We've done Katy Perry wigs. We've done spooky Walmart wigs. And now we're gonna end with Party City. That's right, it came from Party City. And I don't have the RuPaul wigs this season because well, every other girl is doing those. I did those last year. Catch up ladies. I have here from Party City, some blue wigs. Well, here, let me, let me get into it, okay? Party City is in shambles. There's not a whole lot in that place as far as wigs are concerned. So I managed to find workable wigs that I think will work for this video and I have an idea of what I wanna do. So I got these blue wigs. They are Sorbet Layers, Sorbet Layers wigs. It doesn't look like there's any character wig. Perique character. Is that French? Wow. But yeah, they're blue wigs. I got three of them. And we're gonna make something today that's spooky Halloween season. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of those and I also got some other stuff from Joanne Fabrics because they're right next to each other where I live. So we're gonna have some fun today. Let's get crazy, okay? So let's open up our wig and see what it looks like. Judging from the bag, it's not looking like much, but we'll see. Okay. All right, this texture of hair. <laughs> It feels like hay. Oh boy. All right. This is our wig on a mesh cap, almost like a laundry bag. <laughs> Some of y'all folks carried your socks around like this in college. Yes, yes, yes. We have, you know, a dirty laundry bag for the wig cap. And we have this blue hair. It is definitely costume hair. You know, I could show you better than I can tell you. Let's try her on, all right? I'll be right back. <laughs> Well, this is our wig, and girl, I look just like Lady Gaga in that one video whenever she had blue hair. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is what $10 gets you at Party City. Oh boy, Lady Kaka. Yes, she is definitely a costume wig, and I guess, like, depending on what you're going for, maybe this would get the job done. I mean, maybe, like, you know a spooky haunted house where you have to be in the dark and no lights are gonna be on you. It's almost like thing one and thing two from the cat in the hat. Yeah, it's very that. Like, you know, one of them got their hair done and it's laid to the side. Like, yes, sexy thing number two. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> Down my mouth. Okay, I'm gonna take this off because it's trying to kill me. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, let's get started on this. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna comb this down to create a bang. She's gonna look like Cousin It for a hot second. Oh, girl, I am so glad to be back. This wig tried to kill me. Party City was like, pull it on me. <laughs> Talking <laughs> Anyways, all right, I gotta decide where our ear tabs are gonna be. I think they're gonna be right here. So I'm gonna separate some hair in the front for a bang, like so. And I also have to devise a way to make it look a little natural-ish, you know, with this hair. <laughs> as much as I can get away with, I guess. Let's see. Let's just flip a little bit across like that to create something fashion forward. Cut the bangle, you're cutting your ex out of your life. All right, now let's tease her up. I'm gonna tease this lightly because it's gonna be the base wig. And I'm gonna stack a bunch of wigs on top of it. So it just has to really work for what it needs to be, which is just, you know, a support base. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot of crazy intense teasing. Just give it an effect. This blue hair, I'm trying to think, like, what have I ever seen hair like this in movies or anything? The only thing I really think of is like that mom in a clockwork orange where she had that blue wig <laughs> and she had like purple and pink and cerulean and all these crazy ass colors for hair. I wonder if that was actually like a thing in like the 60s where women wore their hair like that. I know in like the 70s and the 60s, a lot of old ladies used to do like a purple rinse to their hair to help like bring out the white. But then like, you know, it's supposed to take out the yellow and bring out the white. But usually what ended up happening is women would walk around with like violet hair because <laughs> they used too much of the formula. I don't know if that happens so much anymore. Any hairstylists in the comment section, let me know if women still get purple rinses. These fibers, like I said before in the last video, which you can click if you hit the little card or at the end of the video, there'll be a link to it. 
these fibers are costume fibers and I don't know what it is. Whenever the hair is a cheaper kind of fiber, like these plastic costume wigs, I never have an issue teasing them up. But if it's like an actual quality fiber, they always are a pain in the ass. But this is actually teasing down fairly easily. So yeah, I've worked with this kind of hair enough now where I kind of know where I'm going with it. And you kind of just gotta take your time with it and not try and like overdo it. No one to stop yourself. And you know, as I switched wig stands from that Jax one, because that thing sucked. $60 down the drain. If I wasn't such a recognizable personality and celebrity, I leave a review on Amazon. But you know, I don't want to get, you know, attention drawn to myself like that. You don't want to put negative things out there in the world. But that wig stand sucked. If there is a wig stand that y'all stand by, let me know because this one's like a squeaky deal and there's enough squeaking happening in these videos already. I know some of you folks in the comment section sometimes write like, please stop squeaking or driving my dog insane to that which I say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am back. We have our wig all teased out, and guess what? I have two more wigs of the same color that I have teased out. We're doing a triple stack today. Yes. So let's take our bubble wrap, and let's just ball that up, and we're gonna stick this inside of the wig. Now, think of what the damn opening is. There it is, okay. All right. Now let's just spray this a little bit because I like the way that looks. Now we're gonna take that and fold it over. Now it's time to start our join. Take that and a little brush brush, smoothing brush. Do the surface just to clean it up a bit. Yes! Now just plant it right there. And we have a second wig. I'm gonna take a temporary pin, put it in there so I can zip tie it. And since it's got that web cap, like I said before in other videos, you can just pierce right through the cap and you'll be just fine. You don't have to really worry about it. Through the bottom, now let's get it through the top one. Find the hole, there it is, okay. Oh, so difficult, okay. This is literally just me digging around in what feels like Easter hay from baskets, exfoliating my fingers as I do this. Now we have some time on our hands. If your body produces gas, hit the like button. I pulled, oh, almost left the pit in there. That could have been bad. All right, let's do our back and then we can move on to our next stack. Yes, yes, yes. Riveting footage, I know, but it has to be done. This one is easier because you can see the neck caps are a lot easier to see. They're very much more apparent in the back of the wig because they don't have as much hair there. We are getting that New York nightlife hair right now. You look like some of the wigs that are readily available back in like the 90s from like costume stores. They were like this. If you're trying to pay as little as possible is what you're gonna get. All right, y'all know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna zip tie this one and the other one and I'll be right back. We'll start our fun <laughs> style. All right, we are triple stacked. Now it's time to start our styling. And girl, this thing is freaking huge. I have to say, I'm actually really loving where this is headed. As far as cheap quality hair goes, this hair is the cheapest you can get. But the style out so far has been blowing my mind. Like, I think it just has to do with the fact like the hair is so hard that really you can kind of mold it wherever you want it to go. And if I had a blow dryer out here too, it'd be even better because you can like heat the hair and make it stay there. The only downside is that it'll probably melt. Let me just show you a bit. Just with hairspray alone, I can just push it and the heat from my hand is making it stay. Love that. Okay, I'm just trying to get something smooth here going. As soon as it's smooth, we can start doing some fun stuff. This is always the boring part. It's just like brush, brush, brush. And so much hair is coming out, my God. Where am I so far on a clump count? Let's see. So far, I have pulled out this much hair. Ugh. Okay, let's just start spraying it, honestly. Yeah, this wig is basically just a whipped dog at this point. She is looking real, real cute. Okay, let's just do our other side and then we'll start doing the funky styling portion. Now, when I saw this hair color, it reminded me so much of like Fraggle Rock and the Muppets. So I decided that is literally where we are gonna go today. We are gonna go into some Muppet territory. Yes! I bought some supplies at Joanne Fabrics to decorate the wig with. I want it to look like I'm wearing a Muppet on my head. <laughs> or I mean a 
puppet in the style of the Muppets. We can't really do official things because, you know, Disney, they're always watching. Ugh. Who'd have thought by 2020 they would own every single thing under the sun? I'm pretty sure they own the sun at this point. Someone let me know. Anyone at NASA can confirm? Now that has given you some like sassy Nancy Sinatra kind of tease. Neon Nancy Sinatra. <laughs> Let's do some fun stuff. Okay. Some of the stuff I bought, I got some colorful hairspray. And I forgot to buy something to make a stencil, so I just used a paper plate. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm going to use some black and put some spots on here. If I can get this damn thing. Oh, there's tape on it. That makes sense. Make sure you don't steal it and try and huff it. All right. Remember the episode of Seventh Heaven where the kid was huffing? Oh, my God. <laughs> Seventh Heaven. Anyways, here we go. Let's see if this stuff actually works. All right, let's put some spots on here. Oh, God. Oh, this stuff smells awful, but it does work. Oh, Jesus. And it is really dark. Okay. No, for the future, I'm going to wash my hands after this. Check that out. I mean, my hand looks, I look like a coal miner now, but that's fine. We can work through it. Hopefully. Let it be known, this stuff stinks to high heaven, though. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure I probably have, like, black all over my face from Bounce Back. But she kind of looks like Sully from Monsters, Inc. Oh, Disney again. She kind of looks like a big blue monster living under your bed or in your closet. Yeah, there we go. Big blue closet monster. I have to say, it's actually helping the back as well, because the back is still kind of messy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do some more spots off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Alrighty, it is all dried-ish and I have my hot glue gun ready because we are gonna be doing some craftiness to this wig right now. Yes, I found these styrofoam balls at Joanne Fabrics and I'm gonna add them to the hair to give it more of a Muppet puppet kind of feel. So let me just grab my scissors and we'll take some black fleece. And what we're going to do here is, if you watch my puppet making videos, you know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to cut some black circles for you know, the pupils of the eyes. And it's up to you how you want the eyes to look. They can look straight on. They can be all kooky. It is completely up to your own imagination. I'm not going to tell you how to do this. Not my best circle. I've done better, but you know what? That's why we have scissors. It'll just look a little drunk. Okay. Now we got two little circles. You just put them side to side and make them even a bit. All right, two circles. Now, let's take our glue gun. Put the pupil on the eyes. Ow, 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 ow. Check, use your thumb and lick it and just press it because it's plastic. So it'll get all solid and instantly dry the glue. But you may burn yourself a couple times. Just it's gonna happen, it's hot glue. All right, do the other one. That's gonna be trying not to be so reckless this time. I thought, cause this is a thick cut felt, I wouldn't have to worry, but clearly I was mistaken. I'm gonna take my hot glue and I'm going to put it a little bit further back on the eye. Get a nice gob. And since it's a solid plastic wig, I was gonna stick it right on in there. If you want this to not be permanent, you would probably just put this on like, you know, a headband or something. But I'm just gonna stick it right here and hold it. And this wig is for me, so I'm just gonna hot glue it. And I'm never gonna wear this thing again after this video, so I don't care if it's permanent. Well, actually, who knows? Maybe the mannequin head will wear it someday. She loves the last one. And so apparently so do you guys, because I got a couple of messages from folks who want to buy that wig. And I'm like, sis, you do not want that wig. It is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid, I love it. Okay, I also bought this little feather trim. So let's cut some of it off and make like a unibrow or something. Oh, this is so fun. All right, let's see how it looks if I just do this. <laughs> We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay, let's glue it on. Oh my god. I am already sold. <laughs> He's all grumpy looking. I love it. I love a grumpy looking puppet. Okay, if you want it to stay out of the face, a little hairspray. 
<laughs> we aren't done. Okay, now I noticed when I was spraying it that there's a solid patch of teasing here that's hard to disguise. So I found this little like bowler hat that I'm gonna put right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna glue it on as well. There we are. Now he means business. And I'm just gonna use my pick and push up some teasing to grab onto that hot glue. There, now it's on. And just like that, oh my God. I think I'm in love. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna give it some hairsprays and trim the bangs a bit, but I'm gonna do that on my head. And I think this wig is actually done. I can't wait. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, you guys. This is probably one of my favorite wigs I've ever done for this channel. As far as the triple stack goes, this is one of the best ones I've done so far. Oh my God. I might be so dramatic and go back and delete my first triple stack video because you know, it's just, it doesn't live up to the potential I thought it had. Oh my God, I'm having my Nikki tutorials moment right now. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is fabulous. It is heavy girl, like the wig cap on this. I wish I had worn tape because I can feel her slipping. So I'm just like, sitting pretty for as long as I can and not trying to move my head a whole lot. But this is so much fun, oh my God. I think more wigs should look like puppets. That's so much fun. I kinda wanna put like a red tail dangling down but then it would block my face and I can't have that. Anyways, I have to say for $10 Party City wigs, this really got the job done. For a Halloween costume, girl. This cost me probably a total of like $45 with all the supplies that I had to buy, which is not bad. Oh my God. Now this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The Jade's Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at BlackPhoenixAlchemyLab.com. And I would like to take a moment, a Ven moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Ven now. I would like to thank, recognize my face, what's wrong with you? Oh my God. Work with me here. I would like to thank Oscar, Angel, Edward, Jennifer, James and Kenny, as well as Jan, Susan and Patrick. Thank you all so much for the PayPal amount and the tips on Venmo. Oh my God, this hair is slipping back. <laughs> it is trying to run off my face right now. It's just like, girl, I don't want to be on your head any longer. I will say the one downside about this wig is the black hairspray. It gets everywhere. Like it's all over my fingers, guys. So I probably wouldn't recommend, you know, the black hairspray Fix Stiff Noir from Party City. It got the job done, but it is getting everywhere right now. Other than that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. And that's it. Happy Halloween. Hit the outro. Click here to be transformed some Katy Perry wigs from Secret Wishes or to be transformed some spooky Walmart wigs. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, you'll hear my squeaks on a loop for the rest of your life.